Chandrayaan 3, India's moon mission is feeling lunar gravity. It has sent in the first pictures, um, you know, from the lunar orbit. It's really close to the moon now. We'll just uh, show you those visuals. Uh, you know, Chandrayaan 3, only 4,313 kilometers from the moon, says the Indian Space Research Organization. Uh, those are particular, you know, images that uh, the dedicated tweet page had put out. That's the trajectory now, Varghese. The next, uh, you know, the second uh, lunar orbit maneuver that's going to, you know, bring it closer to the lunar surface is going to be carried out on the 9th of August. Uh, first one has been done successfully, uh, that perigee firing. Uh, firing. Uh, and ISRO on Sunday released that video of the moon as uh, viewed, uh, you know, by the rover and the lander. The, 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 those are the beautiful pictures coming in from wow. uh, Chandrayaan 3. Uh, India is going to only become the fourth nation on this planet to successfully soft land on the dark side of the moon. And the, this video has been, you know, stitched uh, from, uh, you know, a plethora of images, images that have been coming of course. Uh, but you can see the body of the lander also. It's not like you can't see the body of the lander. You can see the body of the lander. You know everything is all good. And, and the image that they put out was uh, with a thumbs up where the rover is saying, I'm all good and I'm feeling <laughs> lunar gravity. Um, 4,313 uh, 4, kilometers from the moon. The next firing is going to take place on the I 9th can't, I of can't August. wait, Kabir. I can't just wait for August 28th, that final day when we're going to have that uh, rover landing on that uh, moon surface. Uh, it's been, it's going to be a long wait, but you know, this, uh, it's go finally they'll have a circular orbit around uh, the moon before they actually land. It's going to be a hundred kilometer or circular orbit that we are looking at just around the moon surface. And Kabir, I'm just waiting for it to happen because, you know, it's going to be a huge, huge feat for ISRO when it comes to multi-planetary approach. And probably maybe in the future, we, we might see a Mangalyan where we might actually land a rover on uh, Mars as well. And before that, a Gaganyan where all we right, will send our right person then. to space. Hold your horses, man. I mean... Um, um, I'm just waiting for... Yeah. Uh, you know, you, get, you have you 20, seen... 20, have you 20, been a fan of Star Trek? Man on Pluto. Have you been... <laughs> have you been... Uh, I mean, a fan of Star Trek? Yeah, yeah, of yeah, course. You, you, you know, we just imagine, first it is our imagination that uh, makes us explore what's the possibility out there, ask those questions and, you know, reignite imagination. But these are small baby steps that we all are right, taking. Then, Let's all right. see. We're going to, uh, you know, um, shift our focus and, uh, you know, um, ask Varghese to hold his horses. I, I, I can see with that, with that smile how excited you are. 9th August, let's mm -hmm. hope everything goes according to plan. It has been going on so far. You want to do your finger crossing mm -hmm. once again? I am keeping my fingers crossed. All right.